My name is La Carmina and I am a relocator. Everyone has different needs, so I really want to show Mary and Markham all the different sides of Tokyo and find a balance that works for them. I like your eyelashes. Thank you so much. La Carmina. What are the options? Most families I know from an English-speaking country, they put their kids in what are called international schools. They immerse you in the Japanese language, but they also teach you in English. When you're young, when you're 10 and 12, you're going to pick it up just like that. Right. I'm meeting my guide to the wacky world of theme restaurants at Shibuya Crossing, Tokyo's Times Square. La Carmina is a fashion blogger, party girl, and author. Canadian born and raised, she lives part-time in both Tokyo and Vancouver, and she wrote the book on theme restaurants, literally. So, why theme restaurants? How'd you get into that? I was in law school and I was bored. <laughs> I couldn't stand it. I had to be where the action was. Yeah. yeah. So I started blogging about uh -huh. weird pop culture and fashion and food found in Tokyo. Right. I love them so much. How popular are these uh, across the board with everyone? Everyone. Yeah. You'll see old couples having a nice romantic dinner while monsters scream and attack them. <laughs> You'll see businessmen coming together yeah. to have a nice night out. Yeah. All ages, every type of person goes to these restaurants. It's great to hang out with your friends, and why not do it with a greater amount of style? I think people always wanted to get together and have some drinks, have them let loose yeah. after work. And the best carry their themes to the extreme, right down to the cocktails. Brain matter martini, anyone? <laughs> this is just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, some days my job is more interesting than others. How's it feel? That's good. It's like lemon liney coconut. Of course, the fact that you have to like pull this out of some dude's head certainly is part of the charm. You could help explain why this is a trend. This is Tokyo subculture journal journalist La Carmina. Why, why? are people doing this? <laughs> why? Why? It's a form of personal expression. It's almost a bonding session, a way to express yourself the way you might dye your hair or do nail art. Well, I like tattoos and like piercings, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kids don't do this at home, but the group in Japan that performs this procedure, they're licensed piercers, they use medical grade saline, they're constantly prepping the person and watching to make sure everything goes properly. And I've witnessed this multiple times now, I'm the go-to person if you want a bagel head, but I've never seen any lasting effects in terms of stretched skin or infections, everyone does it as safely as they would properly do a piercing.